you. We have nice things. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, you're the only thing that makes me happy right now. Jordy hit him in the bench, and then he hit his knee, and he hurt him. That's what he did. That's what he did. Don't act like you're not giving your dogs extra kisses tonight. On behalf of the entire Montreal Canadiens fan base, Kirby and Sherman the Pug here. Yeah, he's tired. He's tired of all the injuries, too. On behalf of all of us, get well soon, buddy. To David Reinbacker and Emil Heinemann, same thing. We wish you well. Sherman wishes you well. Kirby, Kirby, Kirby. Why can't we have nice things? It's a rhetorical question, really, because as you can tell, we just can't seem to keep our guys healthy. I want to talk to Jared Tenorti for a minute. Come here. Come here, Jared. What, what, did, what did Kirby do to you? Can I point out the most obvious thing here is that look how happy, look how happy Kirby Doc looks in the new photos at training camp here. And then take a look at what how Jared Tenorti looks in his team photo. Clearly someone's the angry, unhappy one here. And I can tell you right now, it's not Kirby Doc. Oh, look at the only scream he has fit. He's trying to be Steve Dangle. Stop trying to be Steve Dangle. Stop trying to be Steve Dangle. Stop trying to be Steve Dangle. I'm better than Steve Dangle. Please don't clip this and send it to Steve. I'm kidding. Steve, Steve, Steve. I'm, I'm kidding, Steve. Well, that was a fun season, wasn't it? Two games into the 2023-24 season, Kirby Doc is injured long-term. We don't even know how long yet still. <laughs> On top of that, David Reinbacker experienced a lower body injury also in reference to his knee because apparently his knee is injured as well. Emil Heineman on the Laval Rocket who had a decent training camp. Some thought should have made the Habs. I didn't think he should have. But nonetheless, he's injured too. So you know they're not calling him up. A little extra hyper, Teddy, because yes, we've all been looking forward to seeing Kirby, Kirby Doc have yet another breakout season. As we know, last season... He came into the Montreal Canadiens with a brand new clean slate. He had a pretty decent season with the Montreal Canadiens in his first one, might I add. 38 points in 58 games last year. Kirby had 14 goals, 24 assists. You get to the season opener against the Toronto Maple Leafs where they debut the Kirby Doc, Alex Newhook, and Uri Slavkovsky line. And things are looking good. Two games later, they're looking really bad. The point being, though, the nice thing, at least right now, is that we know Alex Newhook is a center. And he's going to slide into the center position, likely going to still be playing with Uri Slavkovsky. And now Josh Anderson on the right side of that line, or maybe the I think he's going to be on the right side. But it sounds like what's going to happen is Alex Newhook's going to slide into the second line center role upping his responsibilities, if you ask me, but I think he's cut out for it. I think that this this could be, if I don't even want to call it a blessing in disguise, because nothing's a blessing about a player going down with injury. That's just not a thing. That's not a thing. So I'll say that Alex Newhook will be able to handle it, handle this promotion, if you will, to center pretty well. I think he's going to do a good job, and hopefully he can keep up the chemistry of Slavkovsky and then continue it with Josh Anderson because now Raphael Harvey Pinard, as Maxim Lapierre wanted, is going to be on the first line with Nick Suzuki and Cole Caulfield at least in the next game against the Minnesota Wild. I was looking so forward to seeing Kirby Doc play next Monday in Buffalo and then Thursday of that same week next week in Montreal because... <laughs> He's a fantastic player to watch. I watched him up close, even just in the warm-up last year in Buffalo. And the guy was a treat to watch, just watching him wheel around. And he's got that big frame. He's got so much skill. He's only building his potential. And they, some fans, some media still feel like Kirby Doc's ceiling is the highest of all the Habs forwards they have right now. All of them. Kirby's 6'4", 217 pounds listed right now. Still 22 years old until early next year. I mean, his whole career is ahead of him, but in this short time of his pro career, even his junior career, he has had to deal with a plethora of injuries to date. And it's really unfortunate to his hand, to his wrist, now to his knee. From the time he was with the World Juniors on Team Canada, he dealt with a huge injury at the beginning of the tournament a few years ago. and wasn't even able to continue. So now Martin St. Louis mentioning in the press conference today how disappointed Kirby is because all the work you put in all season long, all off season long coming up to training camp. And then this happens and it's just an unfortunate play. And you know what? One of my viewers, you were right. Credit to Adam. One of my longer term viewers on this channel, Adam, you were right. 
from the time Kirby got this injury the other night after my video, Adam said that Kirby's going to be done for a few months. And all of us are kind of like, I mean, okay, me, I was saying, huh? Like we don't even have a diagnosis yet. Nobody's even been recalled from Laval yet, but it turns out Adam was right. Kirby doc has a severe injury. He's out long-term. We don't know the exact length yet, as I mentioned, but it's just, it just sucks for Kirby at this point, man. Not just Kirby. I mean, for the rebuilding Habs here, it's just a guy that is going to be potentially, potentially your first line center someday if he somehow knocks Nick Suzuki out of that spot. But Kirby's been in beast mode. So, I mean, the ceiling is the limit for this guy. And to see it have it swept out underneath him like this just, again, is no fun. It's not fun to talk about this, but we got to talk about it. And the fact that David Reinbacker also in Switzerland going through another injury situation here, not good for his development. I don't know the severity of Reinbacker's injury at this point, but it, if it's a knee injury like Kirby's, I mean, you don't expect it to be good news. Hopefully it's shorter term for David Reinbacker's sake. And then you got Emil Heineman who is out indefinitely, according to Laval Rocket. And you saw the play where Emil Heineman got hurt. Thank you, ref. Thank you. I know it. I know it happens. I know it happens, but I'm just ranting here. But it's not fun to see. And I really hope that these guys get better much sooner than later. Let's see how Alex Newhook handles his new responsibilities at center. From Priyanta Emmerth on Twitter, one of my favorite Habs follows. She has Martin St. Louis quoted as saying, I'd say the lack of size Newey has compared to Docker. He probably makes up in speed, foot speed. He's going to have more responsibilities, but I don't think it's anything he can't handle. He is a center after all, and now he's going to get that opportunity to use that speed to play in all three zones and hopefully play effectively in all three zones. He's been really effective in the first two games, scoring two goals in his debut with the Montreal Canadiens. What better way to kick things off? And then to have your centerman go down, now Alex Newhook, I know is going to have a lot of pride coming into this position with this opportunity in front of him to not replace Kirby Doc. You can't do that, but he's going to do his best to contribute as much as possible with your Slavkovsky. And it looks like Josh Anderson will see if those three stay together or if that line remains interchangeable. Maybe they insert Sean Monaghan at some point, but he's going to stick with Gallagher and Pearson on the third line for now. We'll see where this all goes. So I will say this again, get well, Kirby, get well, David, get well, Emil. And we need you guys to get up to speed and healthy as soon as possible. Cause we're going to miss you. We're going to miss you. And uh, not fun to talk about. Like I said, but we got to talk about it. And I just hope that the Habs can still keep that positive momentum and not let this jolt them too much, although it is a big one. Let's see what these guys are made of now with yet another major piece of adversity hitting the injury bug again. Lord protect them the rest of the way. That's all I can say. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to support, you know what buttons to push. We'll see you guys real soon. Get well, boys. Get well soon. How do you not love Pugs? I don't care what you say. His face is perfect. It might be smushed in a little bit, but how do you not love him? Right? Watch this game we play.